Hi guys, how's everyone? How is everyone doing? Today I'm reviewing a Christian Dior fragrance. Um, well, tonight I should say. I've just reviewed one fragrance already. Um, today I'm reviewing a flanker of J'adore by Dior. This one is called Voile de Parfum, um, which I've recently learned. Voile means veil. Makes a lot of sense when, you, when I look at things I've smelled in the past that have that word in them. Ah, everything came to light. So this is a flanker, it came out in 2013. It's still very much available as well. Um, it stood the test of time. You often see flankers of fragrances kind of disappear and peter out, but this one has stood the test of time. It's still available three years later. Uh, and I would say that this one is quite extraordinary, really. I really, really like it. It's very simple. While J'adore, if you know it already, it's you know, a hugely popular fragrance. Um, well, that one, a lot of people can, I can see why people might not like that one. It can be quite screechy, it can be quite brash. It's got a lot of notes going on, it's quite high pitched. This one is supposed to be the veil of J'adore. The stripped back version, the more manageable version of J'adore. It contains three notes. Three notes. Uh, really surprising when a fragrance can smell so beautiful with only, with only three notes. Uh, it's very surprising. Only one fragrance has done that before. Alien, I'm looking at you. Alien only has three notes and it's uh, it's brilliant. Put it on my skin. I've worn this a few times and I am quite impressed with how this smells. So the notes, there's only three. The top notes are Bulgarian Rose, the heart note is Iris, and the base note is White Musk. I must emphasise, white musk, not just any musk, because that is the note that carries this fragrance through its entire uh, progression. I had to pull from somewhere deep to get that word then. This one also, um, I read on Fragrantica that the bottle of this one, while it looks the same as the normal J'adore, they created a special type of atomizer that releases a puff, like a cloud of scent, as opposed to a more prominent or like a jet of a fragrance. It's more, um, it's supposed to be like a cloud. It's supposed to delicately caress your body. So it makes me feel like this fragrance might be meant to, to be used in a slightly different way to a normal fragrance, I don't know. Possibly when you've just stepped out of the shower and you're going to bed and you want just a very light veil of fragrance. Um, and it definitely gives that impression when you smell it as well. So let me put it on my skin again because I've rambled so much that the opening notes probably have changed. So, what does it smell like? It's really, really beautiful. Strangely enough, the opening smells way more complex than just Bulgarian Rose. It does have a slight nod to the original J'adore. I can feel it in there somewhere. It doesn't make any sense why, but I'm just gonna go with here rather than what's written down. There is a slight nod to it. It almost smells like there's jasmine in it, which is strange because it doesn't have that in there. But it does smell really floral straight away. Um, a little bit sparkly like the original J'adore was, but um, not as complex, but still complex. Still more complex than three notes. Very, very weird. And you've immediately got this backdrop of iris, which if you don't know already, is a very powdery note. It's, um, kind of makeup y smelling but the iris in this is crystalline to me it smells like a very um a, a really clean kind of crystalline clean iris as opposed to a more buttery heavy makeup kind of iris so the whole thing is light and lifted as you can imagine it's called veil why would it not be really really nice it's almost effervescent very very pretty ultra ultra feminine fragrance this one um, this is one that, although I think it smells beautiful, I don't think I could ever wear it. It's, it even surpasses my threshold of femininity <laughs> when it comes to fragrance. So, like I said, it does at the beginning it does have a nod to the original J'adore, which is quite surprising, even though there's only three notes in it, and it does smell more complex. But then it goes in a completely different direction. The iris and the white musk, when it dries, are, I've discovered from this, a match made in heaven. White musk is beautiful anyway, it's the cleanest of musks, it's the most feminine and light and airy of musks, and when paired together with this crystalline iris that I'm talking about, it creates this very occasional um, and very subtle waft of something where you go, is that me? 
really really cool really really nice um, I, I, it's really surprising the dry down takes a while to get there but when it does and just when you think it's gone it pops up again and you realise that you smell really good <laughs> and that's what I felt when I wore this a lot of times I didn't realise it was myself and that's always a nice surprise so yeah to sum up it goes from almost like the door almost complex floral to a very crystalline iris powdery smell and then a clean musk just comes straight in together and they work together so well in the base really really beautiful um, and the dry down stage is very quick it doesn't it doesn't take long to get there it's probably about half an hour but then the base the, the, the heart and the base notes are around for quite a long time at least four or five hours which by today's standard is quite long so I would definitely try this out or get a sample if you want to. It is available at beautyspin.co.uk and .com at a reduced price. I'll put links below. Go and check it out. Um, I'm at 10 click the logo to subscribe down there. And I'll see you guys soon for another review. Goodbye.